In today's video, we are going to talk about cat's meow meanings. Cat language is composed of a combination of body postures, scent signals, and vocalizations. Humans are scent blind compared to cats, and we often overlook tail talk and ear signals that make up the majority of cats' communication. Think your cat's meows, chirps, yowls, and purrs are just random gibberish. She's actually communicating to you information about her world and about how she feels toward you. The good news is that if you listen closely, you just might begin to understand what the sounds your cat makes is all about and use that understanding to your advantage. Cats possess the widest range of vocalizations of any domestic pet. Though best known for their meows, purrs, hisses, and growls, the list of sounds they regularly make is more comprehensive than this. Depending on the situation, your cat is capable of making many distinct utterances, with multiple nuanced variations of each, according to importance. Some reflect contentment and ease, while others expose worry, fear, or even anger. All are indicative of your cat's emotional state of mind. Meow Perhaps the most commonly heard cat sound, the meow of an adult cat is almost exclusively used to communicate with humans and not other cats. First uttered by kittens when in need of their mothers, this juvenile vocalization fades away as wild cats mature. But, as cats in domesticity tend to think of themselves as our eternal offspring, they maintain this endearing vocalization throughout their adult lives. Generally, a meowing cat wants something, attention or food, or perhaps access to a room. Sometimes though, meows simply serve as a welcome home salutation. Occasionally, a meow can signify loneliness or even illness. Older cats often meow more because of failing senses or due to anxiety over not being as nimble as before. In younger cats, the meow often gets shortened to an interrogative, mew, when lonely or hungry. And the frequency of meowing is an indicator of a cat's frame of mind, rapid fire meows mean hey, pay attention to me, I'm talking here. A longer, more plaintive meow can indicate worry, annoyance, or objection to something. This version will often have a throatier quality to it, almost as if she is saying, oh, come on. And incessant meowing could indicate illness or injury, if you suspect this, consider a trip to the veterinarian. Purr. Perhaps the most enjoyable and hypnotic of cat sounds, the purr is a soft, deep, throaty rumble, most often made when your cat is in the best of moods. Gently petting your cat while she nests in your lap is a sure way to bring forth this motoring sound of utter contentment. On rare occasions, purring can occur when your cat is agitated over something. It's similar to how you might nervously whistle or hum while waiting for in-laws to arrive for dinner. The key to discerning this worry purr is body posture. If your cat's ears are back and her body seems tense, the purr denotes concern over something. Chirps, trills, and chirrups. Learned in kittenhood, these bird-like utterances are slightly more declarative than a meow. Originally used by mothers to tell kittens to pay attention and follow her, your cat may chirp in an effort to get you to pay attention to her or as a way to get you to check out something she deems important. Chirrups and squeaky little trills might also happen when a cat is excited and happy. Chatter You might have heard your cat chatter her teeth while longingly staring out a window at a sparrow or squirrel in a tree. Sometimes accompanied by a chirp, squeak, or faint cry, the chatter is thought to be an indicator of a cat's predatory excitement and out of her stress at not being able to get to the prize. Some claim the chatter is actually a mimic bird or rodent call, but this is anecdotal at best as the hunting prowess of cats is dependent on silence and stealth. Hiss There is no mistaking the intent of a cat's hiss. Sounding like a steak sizzling on the grill, it means your cat feels threatened and is ready to fight if need be. A big, goofy dog who gets too chummy with your feline is sure to provoke a hiss and perhaps more. Along with a threatening sound comes a change in a cat's body language, including an arched back, puffed hair, twitchy tail, flattened ears, and an open mouth, fangs ready to strike. Spitting can also occur with a hiss. When your cat takes on this serpent-like guise, back off, and do what you can to remove the perceived threat. Hissing depends very much upon the individual cat's perception and level of comfort. Some friendly, outgoing felines might hardly ever hiss, while a more shy, reserved cat will resort to it whenever unsure of a situation. Abused, stray, or feral cats are much more likely to go into hissing mode than is a well-adjusted, sociable pet. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Yell! Unlike the reasonably happy, searching sound of a meow, the yell is a longer, more drawn-out moan that denotes, worry, discomfort, territorial concern, or mating issues. The yell is often a cat-to-cat -cat communication, it can mean I want to mate, or I don't want you coming around my place. 
It can also occur when a cat isn't feeling well, when senses or cognitive functions decline, or when something in her environment isn't to her liking. Cats who get relocated to new territories or adopted out to a new home can often yowl out their regret at the lost digs. And some cats will yowl simply out of boredom. If your cat begins to incessantly yowl, check for signs of illness, a trip to your veterinarian might be in order. If he or she has not yet been altered, see to it as soon as possible especially if you let your cat outdoors. Be aware of any cats who might be invading your cat's territory, in some cases, strays or feral cats may need to be trapped, neutered, and hopefully adopted out to the right home. Be sure your cat has ample toys and that she gets enough attention from you. Sometimes all it takes to end a case of the yowls is just an extra play session each day. Caterwall. Uttered by females in heat when calling out to prospective mates, this abbreviated, plaintive, hollow-sounding version of a yowl has an almost, ar whoa sound to it. During the caterwall, the UN spade female will do all she can to get outside to meet up with males cats, who will most likely be milling about, yowling, and fighting for the honor. Scream. If the UN spade female is outdoors, her caterwauling will draw in a male, whereupon mating will surely occur. She will assume a head down, rear up position, while the male bites her neck and begins the mating process. When removed, the male's barbed penis evidently creates pain for the female, causing her to emit a blood-curdling scream. The moral here, have your cats sterilized. Cats in the midst of a fight may also scream. These primeval shrieks often come after a long, ominous yowl, and usually punctuate a climactic paw swat or vicious bite. While cats are more likely to fight, though even fixed pets will actively defend their territories. To avoid fighting injuries to your cat, consider keeping her indoors. Snarls and Growls Often accompanying the hiss are random snarls and growls, usually indicative of fear, anger, or territorial threat. Unlike those of larger cats, such as tigers and lions, the domestic cat snarling and growling are of a higher pitch and can start or end with a yell. Generally, just leave this cat be unless she's in imminent danger from another cat. A snarling or growling cat will have the classic defensive body posture, puffed up fur, arched back, ears backed, tail twitching. Handling Cats Meowing there are health issues that can prompt excess meowing. Deaf cats, old cats suffering from feline Alzheimer's, stressed cats suffering from separation anxiety, and those with thyroid, heart or kidney issues may yell. In otherwise healthy cats, though, the only way to extinguish this behavior is to totally ignore the cat. That means you don't get up to feed her, you don't indulge in toe tag games, you don't yell at her, spray her with water, or give any attention at all. That's hard to do when she's paw patting your nose, or shaking the windows with yowls. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.